All right, hi guys, it's Jim from Colton RV. What we're gonna cover today is gonna be the difference between the batteries on a typical motorhome. You're gonna have two sets. One's gonna be for the house, one's gonna be for the chassis. Normally, everything on the chassis side of it is gonna make the engine run, make the unit go down the road. The house side is gonna take care of everything inside. All your lighting, your controls for your refrigerator, for your air conditioning, for your heating, units that have inverters. It's gonna run your TVs, it's gonna run your household refrigerators if you happen to have that particular model. This particular unit has a, a manual disconnect switch. Some units have electrical ones that you have to excite if you have a problem when it comes to troubleshooting. Is these disconnects will be turned off when they're plugged in and if it's not turned on, it won't charge the batteries. It'll light the lights, it'll do everything you want to do, but your battery will still be dead because it won't charge. There's also a jump start feature where this battery for the house can be manually tripped up by the driver's seat in order to jump start the front battery if it's dead. All the units are different. There is no real set procedure for which way the battery disconnect is or what the auxiliary start does. If this battery is dead, you can't jump it from the house, or the chassis rather, but the chassis can jump from the house. Okay, here's another variation to the battery systems. You've got a motorhome that's using more power, so they're using two six volt batteries to make one 12 volt battery. What that means is you get a longer run time and better use of your inverter and they'll, you'll have to pay very close attention if you're going to try and change the batteries yourself because they're wired so that it's positive to negative, negative to positive, and you pull the power off both ends. So it's something that you have to be really careful with, paying attention to how you take it apart if you're going to try and change your own batteries. On this particular model, there's an inverter so they needed a longer life span for a battery. It'll run longer so that you can have longer periods of time without recharging. <clears throat> One thing you're gonna do with this, if you wanna go out somewhere and only run your generator during the day, the battery bank will be enough to keep you through the night so you can watch TV for a little while, have your TV, have your lights on, have your refrigerator hold for the night. Then tomorrow morning, you're going to get up, you're going to have to run the generator for several hours in order to charge the batteries back up for the next night if you want to do the boondocking as they're calling it. And then that also is going to determine, be determined on how much of the 12 volt lighting you're using because it's the same thing on this motorhome as opposed to this, the Class C that we were just looking at. The battery bank's only going to last so long to run all your lights and all of your uh, 110 stuff that you want to run on the inverter. On this particular model, the auxiliary start button that we were talking about earlier is right here. So if your chassis was dead, you couldn't turn the key and start it, your house batteries are charged, you push the button and it'll actually jump start it. And then you can turn your, hold that button, turn your key and the engine will start. All right, so to sum things up and just go back over everything, Again, your chassis battery is gonna be everything that has anything to do with the getting you down the road and driving. The house batteries are gonna be what you're gonna use for anything that's inside the coach, your lighting, the controls for your air conditioning, the controls for your refrigerator, and both are a separate system. Unless your engine's running and you're driving down the road, then your engine alternator will charge the chassis and the house at the same time. But once you turn the key off, it separates the two batteries so that your house can't leave you stranded by killing the chassis battery. Corrosion on the battery terminals is another thing you wanna look for. And then the polarity, positives and negatives to make sure that the batteries, if you ever unhook them, they get hooked up the right in the right direction. How long is my battery gonna last? We can't give you that answer because we don't know how you're gonna use it. 
If you expect to do a lot of stuff, then you're going to want bigger batteries, bigger life. The difference between 12 volts and 6 volts, uh, we discussed earlier. So it, it's all up to how you use the batteries to determine what you're going to need. All right, and one more time, it's Jim from Colton RV, and thanks for watching.